This commenter asks, why not laminate CPM3V to a more durable steel so you get the benefits of a very hard, tough edge and a very tough body? Now, lamination is basically the welding of different types of steels together, and they do them for various reasons. For example, this particular sword is based on Sokka's meteor sword. You can see that there is a meteorite Damascus layer that is laminated to a harder steel to give it durability, because meteorite in itself is not very good. This particular method is known as Sanmai in Japanese, or Sanmeihe in Mandarin, literally meaning three layers. Similarly, Japanese swords traditionally were laminated in the kobuse manner, which is where they took a soft iron core or softer steel as a center and then laminated or folded a folded steel around it, kind of like a taco. And Masamune was famous for doing a seven layer type of lamination with different types of steel. And this particular Ming sword is horse tooth lamination. Horse tooth is a particularly difficult method where they take folded Damascus and then put these notches in it and then put a harder edge in between them and weld them all together as such. So if we can take different types of steel and weld them together, why not use the super durable S5 shock steel like in this particular hand and a half sword and use that as the body for a cutting edge like CPM3V. And this comes down to heat treatment. Modern steels are heated to specific temperatures and cooled under specific conditions and then tempered under other conditions. And so if you don't have two steels with almost the exact same method of heat treatment, then you really can't weld them together without losing the benefit of that particular steel.